Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the noise figure and how this noise figure added into the radar range equation and affects the performance of radar range equation. So what do you mean by noise figure? In the previous video, I have explained about the thermal noise, where the thermal noise is added. Thermal noise is added at the receiver input because of the temperature presence in the receiver ohmic portions of the input stages. Okay, so now if you consider this noise figure, I will tell you what is the, the, what is the relation between the previous video and this video. That means the thermal noise and this noise figure. So noise figure, noise figure indicated by Fn, noise figure is indicated by Fn. So how can you define the noise figure? Noise figure is defined as the ratio of noise out of practical receiver to the noise out of ideal receiver. So it is defined as noise out of practical receiver to the noise out of ideal receiver. So it is the ratio of noise out of practical receiver. What is the amount of uh, output present in the receiver? What is the output? What is the total noise present at the output of receiver practically and divided by what is the noise present at the output of ideal receiver? Okay. Now let us see. We can uh, simply write this as noise out of practical receiver. We don't know what is the amount of noise present in the practical receiver because practical receivers are different and environmental specific. Okay. Some may use in India, some may use in other countries like Russia and some may use in different countries. Okay. Depending upon the different countries environmental conditions. So noise of the practical receiver is depending. So let us consider the noise of practical receiver. Let it be n naught because we don't know we have just assumed it we have named that practical output receiver noise as n naught coming to this noise out of ideal receiver noise out of ideal receiver noise out of ideal receiver that means we are talking about output what is the input noise what is the input ideal noise what is the input ideal noise nothing but thermal noise okay input ideal noise is nothing but thermal noise thermal noise okay so what is the indication of thermal noise in the last video i have explained thermal noise is given as thermal noise is equal to ktbn ktbn Okay, this is what the relation between the previous video and this video. In the previous video, I have explained you about the thermal noise, receiver noise. Okay, now that topic we have brought there from here to add it into the noise figure. Okay, so thermal noise is nothing but KTBN, which is nothing but ideal noise. Ideal noise when there is, I told you already, when everything is clear, when the receiver is operated in the noise free environment and the environment is also clear, when no noise enters into the antenna terminals, in such case, the thermal noise is present over there. Okay, that is nothing but ideal noise, KTBN. Now, we are taking that K T naught B N because we are assuming the temperature let it be T naught. T or T naught doesn't matter. Into, now coming to this point, noise out of ideal receiver. We are talking at the output. But what do you mean by thermal noise? It is real, It is the input. It is present at the input. Now we are talking at the output. Output is nothing but, so output, how can you write? How can you write this? So this is the receiver input is nothing but KTBN after passing through the receiver the gain of receiver will be added so KTBN into G so this is G okay if G is not added then it is only input it specifies only input if G is added then this entire factor is at the output okay so N0 is nothing but noise out of practical receiver and K, 
term uh, Boltzmann's constant T naught is nothing but room temperature and K and B n is nothing but noise bandwidth G is nothing but gain of the uh, receiver okay now coming to other definition so another definition of noise figure is fn is equal to you know, how it is defined noise figure can also be defined as signal to noise ratio of input to the signal to noise ratio of output signal to noise ratio of input of the receiver to the signal to noise ratio of output that means if you are taking a receiver into consideration what is the amount of signal to noise ratio present at the input and what is the amount of signal to noise ratio present at the output okay if you take the uh, ratio between these two then that is nothing but fn okay or else you can also say the definition in as what is the amount of degradation present in the signal to noise ratio when passing through the receiver okay that is also another definition of noise figure now let us just separate this si by ni into just s by n oloi we are uh, separating this si by ni and this one as n naught by s naught just if it is going upside n naught by s naught okay now see this s i is equal to how can you write s i what is the n in what is n i input noise what is input noise k t b n so you can write it as s i n naught divided by k t b k t naught b n into s naught okay now let us write the equation for s i i will tell why s i is equal to k t naught b n into s naught into f n divided by n naught okay so take this s naught by n naught as a separate factor k t naught b n f n into s by n naught okay now what is s i s i is nothing but input signal present at the receiver s i is nothing but it is specify the input signal present at the receiver now coming to the maximum radar range equation see r max is equal to what is r max formula p t g sigma a e by 4 pi whole square s minimum whole power 1 by 4 okay what do you mean by s mean it is a minimum detectable signal it is the minimum minimum detectable signal yes mean is nothing but minimum detectable signal minimum detectable signal is input or not minimum detectable signal it is the minimum detectable signal we are receiving from the external object which is there at some distance or max okay that means suppose if it is a radar system it is the antenna okay and this is the object okay we are transmitting a signal and sending back the signal this is nothing but yes minimum that is collected by this radar system so yes minimum is nothing but s in or not yes minimum is nothing but yes input yes minimum is nothing but yes input input to the receiver input to the receiver when or max when distance becomes maximum range but what is si from the previous derivation we know si is equal to nothing but input signal in terms of noise figure we have determined it as si is equal to what is this one k t naught b n f n s by n naught so it is k t naught b n f n into s by n naught okay s by n naught 
if si see here it is si it is s minimum that means if si becomes s min then s not by n not we can write it as s not by n not becomes s not by n not minimum okay so if the input signal is a minimum detectable signal then the signal to noise ratio is also minimum signal to noise ratio okay so how can you write the expression now therefore r max in terms of noise figure it is written as pt g sigma ae by 4 pi square yes mean now it becomes what is the formula k t naught b n f n s naught by n naught a minimum whole power whole power 1 by 4 this is the final equation ok see here what we have done the maximum data range equation which we have already derived which we have already derived now we are just rearranging the parameters each and every one in the prediction of range performance what we are doing is we are calculating each and every parameter separately and estimating their better values and changing the r max formula to get accurate results we are just trying to get accurate results but we may or may not get accurate results but we may get approximate values okay but every parameter is refined so that we can get the actual values at least okay so what is the difference between this equation and this equation what is the difference between this equation and this one here no noise component in, is involved in this first equation no noise is involved but in the last equation because of this noise figure we have added the signal to noise ratio so <coughs> one thing we need to keep in mind that it is always better it is always better to write the r max in terms of signal to noise ratio instead of only signal instead of only signal okay so in the first equation we have just written in terms of only the received signal but in the last equation which is the refined equation we have just rearranged everything and added the noise components also so that whatever the noise present over the receiver that also been added so that we can get the accurate results in the previous case noise is not there so we cannot get the what is the amount of noise present over there okay that is the advantage of this receiver noise and noise figure thank you